Watch this video up to the end because each creature is fully explained, 10 mythical beasts. Mythical creatures have long fascinated humanity, serving as embodiments of our deepest fears, wildest dreams and profound mysteries. From the soaring dragons of Eastern lore to the elusive unicorns of Western mythology, these fantastical beings have left an indelible mark on cultures worldwide. Throughout history, they have been depicted in art, literature and oral traditions, reflecting humanity's inexhaustible imagination and enduring quest for meaning. 1. Dragons, masters of elemental power, origins of dragon lore. Dragons are among the most iconic and enduring mythical creatures, revered for their majestic power and fearsome presence. The concept of dragons has roots in ancient civilizations, with depictions found in Mesopotamian, Egyptian and Chinese cultures dating back thousands of years. In Chinese mythology, dragons symbolize auspiciousness, wisdom and imperial authority, while in European folklore they are often depicted as malevolent beasts guarding hordes of treasure or terrorizing villages. Variations Across Cultures Despite their widespread presence in global mythology, dragons exhibit remarkable diversity in appearance, behavior and symbolism across different cultures. In Chinese tradition, dragons are depicted as serpentine creatures with elongated bodies adorned with colorful scales and antler-like horns. They are associated with rainfall, fertility and the Emperor's divine mandate. In contrast, European dragons are typically portrayed as winged reptiles with fiery breath, capable of laying waste to entire kingdoms. These dragons are often depicted as adversaries to heroic knights or symbols of primordial chaos. Symbolism and Attributes Dragons embody a potent blend of awe and terror representing the elemental forces of nature and the untamed wilderness. They are often associated with cosmic creation and destruction, symbolizing the dualities of life and death, order and chaos. In many cultures, dragons are revered as symbols of wisdom, longevity and prosperity, while in others, they are feared as agents of destruction and malevolence. Their attributes vary widely depending on cultural interpretations, but commonly include flight, fire-breathing, and immense strength. Notable dragon legends, Chinese Lung, European Wyverns, and others. Throughout history, dragons have appeared in countless myths, legends, and folk tales, each reflecting the unique cultural perspectives and symbolic meanings attributed to these creatures. In Chinese mythology, the Lung Dragon is revered as a benevolent deity associated with rain, rivers and agriculture. It is often depicted as a serpentine creature with four legs and a mane of flowing hair, symbolizing the harmonious balance between heaven and earth. In European folklore, dragons are often depicted as fearsome adversaries to valiant knights and noble heroes. One of the most famous dragon-slaying tales is that of St. George and the Dragon, which originated in medieval Europe. According to legend, St. George bravely slew a ferocious dragon that was terrorizing a village, thereby saving the inhabitants and earning eternal renown. In Norse mythology, dragons play a prominent role as harbingers of Ragnarok, the cataclysmic end of the world. The dragon Nidhogg is said to gnaw at the roots of the world tree Yggdrasil, symbolizing the destructive forces of chaos and entropy. Despite their ominous significance, dragons also embody the resilience and indomitable spirit of humanity, inspiring tales of heroism and courage in the face of adversity. Analysis of Dragon Power, Fire, Flight and Wisdom Dragons possess a formidable array of powers and abilities, making them among the most feared and revered creatures in mythological lore. Chief among these powers is their ability to breathe fire, a symbol of their connection to the elemental forces of creation and destruction. 
In many cultures, dragons are associated with volcanic activity, lightning storms, and other natural phenomena, further enhancing their fearsome reputation. Another hallmark of dragon law is their ability to fly, often depicted as soaring through the skies with majestic wings outstretched. This aerial prowess symbolizes their freedom, transcendence, and connection to the heavens. In Chinese mythology, dragons are said to control the weather and bring rain to parched lands, demonstrating their benevolent role as celestial guardians. Dragons are also renowned for their wisdom and arcane knowledge, serving as mentors and guides to worthy heroes and seekers of enlightenment. In many myths, dragons are depicted as hoarding vast treasures of gold, jewels, and magical artifacts, which they offer as rewards to those who prove themselves worthy. This association with wealth and abundance further enhances the dragon's mystique and allure, cementing their status as iconic symbols of power and prestige. 2. Phoenix, Eternal Rebirth and Resilience The phoenix, a majestic and enigmatic creature, has captivated human imagination for centuries with its symbolic significance of eternal rebirth and resilience. Originating from ancient mythology and traversing diverse cultural landscapes, the phoenix embodies the cyclical nature of life, death and renewal. This exploration delves into the mythical origins, symbolism and cultural manifestations of the phoenix, unraveling its timeless allure and enduring resonance. Mythological Origins The phoenix finds its origins in ancient Egyptian, Greek and Chinese mythologies, each culture imbuing the creature with unique characteristics and symbolism. In Egyptian mythology, the phoenix is known as the Bennu, a sacred bird associated with the sun, creation and regeneration. According to Egyptian beliefs, the Bennu symbolizes the eternal cycle of death and rebirth, rising from the ashes to begin anew. In Greek mythology, the phoenix is described as a magnificent bird with colorful plumage, capable of bursting into flames and being reborn from its own ashes. The Greek philosopher Herodotus first recorded the myth of the phoenix, attributing its origins to ancient Egypt. According to Greek legend, the phoenix is associated with the sun god Apollo and is said to reside in the distant land of Arabia, where it builds a nest of aromatic spices before immolating itself in flames. Symbolism and cultural significance. The phoenix holds profound symbolic significance across cultures, representing themes of renewal, resurrection, and immortality. As a creature of fire and ash, the phoenix embodies the transformative power of destruction and regeneration, symbolizing the cyclical nature of life and the eternal struggle between death and rebirth. In addition to its association with the sun and celestial fire, the phoenix is often depicted as a symbol of divine grace and providence, offering hope and solace to those facing adversity. Its ability to rise from the ashes unscathed serves as a powerful metaphor for resilience, endurance and the triumph of the human spirit over adversity. Resurrection and Immortality One of the most enduring aspects of the Phoenix myth is its association with resurrection and immortality. Across cultures, the Phoenix is revered as a symbol of eternal life, transcending the boundaries of mortality and death. Its cyclical rebirth from the ashes symbolizes the timeless cycle of creation, destruction and renewal offering a glimpse into the mysteries of the afterlife and the promise of spiritual transformation. In Egyptian mythology, the phoenix is closely associated with the sun Godra and the concept of eternal life. As the sun rises and sets each day, the phoenix is said to be reborn from its own ashes, symbolizing the eternal cycle of death and rebirth that sustains the cosmos. Representation in Different Cultures 
The phoenix appears in various forms across different cultures and civilizations, each imbuing the creature with its own unique characteristics and symbolism. In Chinese mythology, the phoenix is known as the Feng Huang, a mythical bird associated with the emperor, prosperity, and peace. Unlike its western counterpart, the Feng Huang is depicted as a composite creature with the head of a pheasant, the body of a peacock, the wings of a swan, and the tail of a snake. In Islamic and Persian folklore, the phoenix is known as the Simurg, a majestic bird with healing powers and protective instincts. The Simurg is often depicted as a benevolent guardian of the natural world, symbolizing divine grace and providence, the phoenix's power, transformation and renewal. The phoenix's power lies in its ability to transcend death and destruction, emerging from the ashes renewed and revitalized. As a symbol of transformation and renewal, the phoenix inspires individuals to embrace change, overcome obstacles, and embrace the opportunities for growth and self-discovery. In times of crisis and adversity, the phoenix serves as a potent symbol of hope and resilience, reminding us of our capacity to rise above life's challenges and emerge stronger and more resilient than before. Its fiery rebirth symbolizes the indomitable spirit of the human soul, capable of transcending the limitations of mortality and embracing the infinite possibilities of the cosmos. 3. Cerberus Guardian of the Underworld Cerberus, the mythical three-headed hound of Hades, is a figure deeply entrenched in Greek mythology. Revered as the guardian of the underworld, Cerberus stands as a fearsome sentinel, ensuring the realm of the dead remains undisturbed by the living. This exploration delves into the origins, symbolism and significance of Cerberus in Greek mythology. Mythological origins the origins of Cerberus trace back to ancient Greek mythology, where it is described as the offspring of Echidna, a half-woman, half-serpent creature, and Typhon, a monstrous giant associated with chaos and destruction. Cerberus is often depicted as a massive hound with three heads, each bearing a maw of razor-sharp teeth and a serpentine tail. Its ferocity and imposing appearance make it a formidable guardian of the underworld. Role as Guardian Cerberus's primary role is to guard the entrance to the underworld, ensuring that souls cannot escape and that living mortals cannot enter without proper authorization. It stands as a deterrent against any who would seek to disturb the peace of the dead or challenge the authority of the gods. Cerberus's vigilance and tenacity make it an effective guardian, instilling fear in those who dare to approach the realm of Hades uninvited. Symbolism and Significance Cerberus holds profound symbolic significance in Greek mythology. As the guardian of the underworld, it represents the boundary between the realms of the living and the dead, symbolizing the transition from life to death. Cerberus embodies the inevitability of mortality and serves as a reminder of the consequences of defying the natural order. Furthermore, Cerberus symbolizes the concept of eternal vigilance and the need for balance in the cosmos. Its presence underscores the importance of maintaining order and stability in the world, ensuring that the forces of chaos and entropy do not disrupt the delicate balance of existence. Encounters in Mythology Cerberus is mentioned in various mythological tales, most notably in the story of Heracles' twelfth labor. As part of his penance for committing a crime in a fit of madness, Heracles is tasked with capturing Cerberus and bringing him to the surface world. Despite the hound's fearsome appearance, Heracles successfully subdues Cerberus and presents him to King Eurystheus as proof of his accomplishment. Additionally, Cerberus appears in other myths and legends, often as a background character or obstacle that heroes must overcome on their quests. Its presence serves to underscore the dangers of the underworld and the challenges that await those who dare to venture into its depths. Legacy and Influence 
Cerberus's legacy extends beyond Greek mythology, inspiring countless works of art, literature, and popular culture. Its fearsome appearance and role as the guardian of the underworld have made it a staple of fantasy and mythology, appearing in various forms in modern media, including books, movies, and video games. Moreover, Cerberus's symbolism continues to resonate with audiences, serving as a metaphor for the inevitability of death and the need for acceptance and understanding of life's transience. Its portrayal as a fierce and unyielding guardian underscores the importance of confronting one's fears and embracing the challenges that come with mortality. 4. Kraken, Leviathan of the Deep The Kraken, a legendary sea monster of enormous proportions, has haunted the imaginations of sailors and storytellers for centuries. With its tentacled appendages and fearsome presence, the Kraken embodies the mysteries and dangers lurking beneath the ocean's surface. This exploration delves into the origins, folklore, and cultural significance of the Kraken, unraveling its enduring allure as the Leviathan of the Deep. Origins and Folklore The origins of the Kraken can be traced back to Scandinavian folklore, where it is described as a colossal sea creature dwelling off the coasts of Norway and Greenland. In Norse mythology, the Kraken is believed to be a creature of immense size and power, capable of capsizing ships and dragging sailors to their watery graves. Over time, tales of the Kraken spread throughout Europe, becoming intertwined with maritime folklore and superstition, Accounts of encounters with the Kraken were often embellished and exaggerated, adding to the creature's mystique and terrifying reputation. Appearance and Behaviors Descriptions of the Kraken vary widely, with some accounts depicting it as a massive octopus-like creature with tentacled arms capable of ensnaring entire ships, while others portray it as a colossal squid with enormous eyes and a beak-like mouth. Regardless of its specific form, the Kraken is universally described as a creature of immense size and strength, capable of wreaking havoc on unsuspecting sailors and vessels. In folklore, the Kraken is said to dwell in the depths of the ocean, surfacing only to feed or attack passing ships. Its appearance is often accompanied by violent storms and turbulent waters, further enhancing its reputation as a harbinger of doom. Cultural Impact and Symbolism The Kraken's fearsome reputation and enigmatic nature have made it a prominent figure in popular culture, inspiring countless works of literature, art and film. From ancient seafaring tales to modern-day monster movies, the Kraken continues to capture the imagination of audiences worldwide, serving as a symbol of the unknown and the untamed power of the sea. Symbolically, the Kraken represents humanity's primal fear of the unknown and the vast depths of the ocean. It embodies the mysteries and dangers lurking beneath the surface of the water, reminding us of the inherent unpredictability and volatility of the natural world. The Power of the Kraken The Kraken's power lies in its ability to instill fear and awe in those who encounter it, whether in myth or in the realm of imagination. As a creature of the deep, it represents the raw, untamed forces of nature, indifferent to the fate of those who venture into its domain. In folklore, the Kraken's immense size and strength make it a formidable adversary, capable of dragging entire ships beneath the waves with its powerful tentacles. Its appearance is often accompanied by violent storms and treacherous seas, adding to the sense of dread and foreboding surrounding the creature. 5. Griffins, Majestic Protectors Griffins, magnificent creatures with the body of a lion and the head and wings of an eagle, have long been revered as majestic protectors in myth and legend. With their imposing presence and noble demeanor, griffins embody the virtues of courage, strength and guardianship. This exploration delves into the origins, symbolism, and cultural significance of griffins, unraveling their timeless allure 
as mythical protectors. Origins and mythological background. The origins of griffins can be traced back to ancient Mesopotamian and Greek mythology, where they are depicted as mythical creatures guarding treasures and sacred sites. In Mesopotamian mythology, griffins are associated with the god Nisroch and are believed to protect the divine realm from intruders. In Greek mythology, griffins are often depicted as companions of gods and heroes, serving as loyal guardians of their domains. They are said to be fierce protectors of treasures and temples, using their formidable strength and keen senses to ward off any who would dare to trespass. Appearance and Characteristics Griffins are typically depicted as creatures with the body of a lion, representing strength and ferocity, and the head and wings of an eagle, symbolizing speed and agility. Their majestic appearance commands respect and admiration, inspiring awe in those who behold them. In addition to their physical attributes, griffins are often depicted as intelligent and noble creatures, possessing keen instincts and unwavering loyalty to their charges. They are said to possess the ability to see through deception and detect threats from afar, making them formidable guardians against intruders and invaders. Symbolism and Cultural Significance Griffins hold profound symbolic significance across cultures, representing virtues such as courage, loyalty and protection. As guardians of treasures and sacred sites, they embody the concept of guardianship and the responsibility to protect what is valuable and sacred. In heraldry, griffins are often used as symbols of strength and nobility, adorning coats of arms and crests to signify the valor and integrity of noble houses. They are also frequently depicted in art and literature as symbols of protection and divine favor, serving as powerful allies to gods, heroes, and kings. Symbolism and cultural significance. Griffins hold profound symbolic significance across cultures, representing virtues such as courage, loyalty, and protection. As guardians of treasures and sacred sites, they embody the concept of guardianship and the responsibility to protect what is valuable and sacred. In heraldry, griffins are often used as symbols of strength and nobility, adorning coats of arms and crests to signify the valor and integrity of noble houses. They are also frequently depicted in art and literature as symbols of protection and divine favor, serving as powerful allies to gods, heroes, and kings. Mythical Guardianship Griffins are revered as formidable guardians, entrusted with the protection of treasures, temples, and even entire kingdoms. Their keen senses and fierce loyalty make them ideal sentinels, capable of detecting and thwarting any threats to their charges. In myth and legend, griffins are often depicted as fierce defenders of their territory, using their strength and cunning to ward off intruders and invaders. They are said to possess an innate sense of duty and honor, never wavering in their commitment to protect what is entrusted to them. Legacy and influence, griffins continue to captivate the human imagination inspiring countless works of art, literature, and popular culture. From ancient mythology to modern fantasy, griffins remain iconic symbols of guardianship and protection, embodying the timeless virtues of courage, loyalty, and valor. Their majestic appearance and noble demeanor make them enduring symbols of strength and nobility, serving as reminders of humanity's eternal quest for safety, security, and justice. As guardians of treasures and sacred sites, griffins remind us of the importance of preserving what is valuable and sacred and the responsibility to defend it against all who would seek to harm or exploit it. 6. Thunderbird, avian deity of Native American lore. The Thunderbird is a majestic and powerful figure deeply rooted in the mythology and spiritual beliefs of various Native American cultures across North America. Revered as a deity associated with the sky, thunder, and storms, 
The Thunderbeard embodies the Aoi inspiring forces of Natura and serves as a symbol of power, protection, and spiritual significancy. This exploration delves into the origins, symbolism, and cultural significance of the Thunderbird in Native American lore. Mythological Origins The Thunderbird's origins can be traced back to the oral traditions and creation myths of indigenous peoples across North America, including tribes such as the Ojibwe, Lakota, and Haida. Each tribe has its own unique interpretation of the Thunderbird, reflecting the diverse cultural and geographical landscapes of Native American societies. In many Native American creation myths, the Thunderbird is described as a divine being with the ability to create thunder and lightning by flapping its wings or shooting lightning bolts from its eyes. It is often depicted as a giant bird with wings spanning vast distances, symbolizing its dominion over the sky and the elements. Symbolism and Spiritual Significance The Thunderbird holds profound symbolic significance in Native American spirituality, representing themes of power, protection, and divine intervention. As a deity associated with the sky and storms, the Thunderbird is believed to possess immense supernatural abilities, including the power to control the weather, grant blessings, and protect the earth and its inhabitants from harm. In many Native American cultures, the Thunderbird is revered as a guardian spirit and a symbol of strength and resilience in the face of adversity. Its presence is often invoked in rituals and ceremonies, seeking protection, healing, and guidance from the spiritual realm. Thunderbird Legends Across Tribes The Thunderbird appears in various forms and interpretations across different Native American tribes, each imbuing the creature with its own unique characteristics and symbolism. Among the Ojibwe people, the Thunderbird is known as Animiki, a powerful deity associated with thunderstorms and the changing seasons. According to Ojibwe tradition, the Thunderbird is believed to reside in the sky world and is responsible for maintaining the balance between the physical and spiritual realms. Similarly, among the Lakota people, the Thunderbird is revered as a sacred guardian spirit known as Wakinyan, whose thunderous wings are said to create the sound of thunder during storms. In Lakota mythology, the Thunderbird is associated with the cardinal direction of the West and is believed to possess the power to bring rain and fertility to the land. Supernatural abilities, weather manipulation and divine intervention. The Thunderbird's supernatural abilities are central to its role as a deity of the sky and storms. In many Native American myths and legends, the Thunderbird is depicted as a powerful being capable of controlling the weather, unleashing thunderstorms and bringing rain to parched lands. Its thunderous wings and lightning bolts are said to strike fear into the hearts of mortals and inspire reverence for its divine power. Moreover, the Thunderbird is often portrayed as a benevolent protector and provider ensuring the well-being and prosperity of the earth and its inhabitants. Its presence is believed to bring blessings and abundance to those who honor and respect its sacred role in the natural world. 7. Yermunganda, Norse Serpent of Chaos In the rich tapestry of Norse mythology, Yermunganda stands as a colossal and enigmatic figure, embodying the primordial forces of chaos and destruction. As the monstrous serpent that encircles the world, Yermunganda serves as a potent symbol of cosmic order and the eternal struggle between creation and entropy. This exploration delves into the origins, symbolism, and significance of Yermunganda in Norse mythology. Mythological context, Yermunganda, also known as the Midgard Serpent or the World Serpent, is one of the three monstrous children born to the god Loki and the giantess Angerboda, along with Fenrir the wolf and Hel, the ruler of the realm of the dead. According to Norse mythology, Odin, the Allfather, cast Jörmungandr into the ocean surrounding Midgard, where it grew to immense size, 
encircling the entire world and biting its own tail. Role in Ragnarok Jörmungandr plays a pivotal role in the cataclysmic event known as Ragnarok, the end of the world in Norse mythology. According to prophecy, Jörmungandr will emerge from the depths of the ocean during Ragnarok, thrashing violently and spewing poison across the land. It will engage in a fierce battle with Thor, the god of thunder, culminating in a titanic clash that ultimately leads to both combatants' demise. The battle between Thor and Jörmungandr symbolizes the eternal struggle between order and chaos, with the destruction of the serpent signifying the end of one cosmic cycle and the beginning of a new era of renewal and regeneration. Cosmic Symbolism Jörmungandr's role as the world serpent embodies profound cosmic symbolism in Norse mythology. As a creature of primordial chaos, Jörmungandr represents the forces of entropy and dissolution that threaten to disrupt the natural order of the cosmos. Its ceaseless encircling of the world symbolizes the cyclical nature of existence, with creation and destruction inextricably intertwined in the fabric of reality. Moreover, Jörmungandr's status as a child of Loki, the trickster god, underscores its connection to chaos and disruption. In Norse mythology, Loki is often depicted as a figure of mischief and chaos, whose actions have far-reaching consequences for the gods and the world at large. As the offspring of Loki, Jörmungandr embodies the chaotic and unpredictable aspects of the natural world, challenging the gods' authority and threatening the stability of the cosmos. The power of Jörmungandr Cataclysmic influence. Jörmungandr wields immense power and influence in Norse mythology, capable of unleashing catastrophic destruction upon the world during Ragnarok. Its venomous breath and thrashing coils symbolize the elemental forces of chaos and entropy, which seek to undermine the god's dominion and plunge the world into darkness and despair. Despite its destructive nature, Jörmungandr also serves as a catalyst for transformation and renewal. In Norse mythology, Ragnarok is not merely the end of the world, but also the beginning of a new cycle of creation, in which the world is reborn from the ashes of destruction. Thus, Jörmungandr's role in Ragnarok serves as a reminder of the cyclical nature of existence and the eternal struggle between order and chaos. 8. Sphinx, enigmatic guardian of wisdom. The Sphinx, a mythical creature with the body of a lion and the head of a human, has captivated imaginations for millennia with its enigmatic gaze and inscrutable riddles. Revered as a guardian of knowledge and wisdom in ancient Egyptian and Greek mythology, the Sphinx serves as a symbol of mystery, intellect, and spiritual enlightenment. This exploration delves into the origins, symbolism, and cultural significance of the Sphinx as the enigmatic guardian of wisdom. Mythological Origins The origins of the Sphinx can be traced back to ancient Egyptian mythology, where it is associated with the solar deity Horus and depicted as a benevolent guardian of sacred sites and temples. The Egyptian Sphinx, known as a Hu, is often portrayed as a lion with a human head, symbolizing the union of divine power and earthly authority. In Greek mythology, the Sphinx is most famously associated with the myth of Oedipus, the tragic hero who encountered the creature outside the city of Thebes. According to the myth, the Sphinx posed a riddle to travelers, devouring those who failed to answer correctly. Oedipus famously solved the riddle of the Sphinx, leading to the creature's demise and his own tragic fate. Symbolism and Allegorical Meaning The Sphinx holds profound symbolic significance across cultures, representing themes of knowledge, wisdom and spiritual enlightenment. As a creature with the body of a lion, symbolizing strength and power, and the head of a human, symbolizing intellect and consciousness, the Sphinx embodies the synthesis of physical and spiritual qualities. Furthermore, the Sphinx's role as a guardian of wisdom 
underscores its association with the pursuit of knowledge and enlightenment. In ancient Egypt, the Sphinx was believed to possess esoteric knowledge and mystical insights, serving as a guide to seekers of spiritual truth and enlightenment. Cultural Significance The Sphinx's influence extends beyond ancient mythology, permeating art, literature and philosophy throughout history. Its enigmatic presence has inspired countless works of art and literature, from ancient Egyptian sculptures to Renaissance paintings and modern-day novels. Moreover, the Sphinx's association with riddles and puzzles has made it a popular motif in intellectual and philosophical discourse. The Riddle of the Sphinx, famously posed to Oedipus, what walks on four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs in the evening, has become synonymous with the quest for self-discovery and the pursuit of knowledge. The Sphinx as a guardian of wisdom. The Sphinx's role as a guardian of wisdom is central to its mythological significance. In ancient Egypt, the Sphinx was believed to possess divine knowledge and mystical insights, serving as a protector of sacred sites and repositories of esoteric wisdom. In Greek mythology, the Sphinx's riddles served as a test of intellect and wisdom, challenging travelers to demonstrate their knowledge and insight. Those who failed to answer correctly faced the wrath of the Sphinx, symbolizing the consequences of ignorance and hubris. 9. Tengu – Shapeshifting Spirits of Japanese Folklore In the rich tapestry of Japanese folklore, Tengu are legendary creatures that inhabit the mountains and forests, revered as both protectors and tricksters. With their bird-like features and supernatural abilities, Tengu are shape-shifting spirits that embody the duality of nature, both fearsome and benevolent. This exploration delves into the origins, characteristics and cultural significance of Tengu in Japanese mythology. Mythological Origins The origins of Tengu can be traced back to ancient Japanese mythology, where they were initially depicted as avian deities associated with the mountains and forests. Over time, Tengu evolved into complex beings with a blend of human and avian traits, capable of shape-shifting and wielding magical powers. In Japanese folklore, Tengu are believed to be the spirits of the Yamamba and Konoha, ancient mountain-dwelling hermits and ascetics who attained supernatural powers through rigorous training and meditation. As guardian spirits of the mountains, Tengu are revered as both protectors of the natural world and enforcers of divine justice. Characteristics and Appearances Tengu are typically depicted as humanoid beings with bird-like features, including wings, talons, and long noses resembling beaks. They are often portrayed wearing traditional robes and carrying magical fans or staves symbols of their supernatural abilities. Tengu are also known for their shape-shifting abilities, which allow them to transform into various forms, including birds, animals, and even humans. This ability to change shape enables Tengu to move freely between the human world and the spirit realm, serving as messengers and intermediaries between gods and mortals. Cultural Significance Tengu holds significant cultural and religious importance in Japanese folklore, influencing various aspects of art, literature, and religious practices. In traditional Japanese theater, Tengu are often depicted as fearsome warriors and skilled martial artists, reflecting their association with discipline and martial prowess. Moreover, Tengu have inspired countless tales and legends throughout Japanese history, portraying them as both benevolent guardians and mischievous tricksters. In Shugendo, a syncretic religious practice combining elements of Buddhism and Shintoism, Tengu are revered as protective deities of the mountains and forests, offering guidance and wisdom to spiritual seekers. Shapeshifting and Magical Abilities Tengu 
are renowned for their shape-shifting and magical abilities, which enable them to perform feats beyond the capabilities of mortal beings. In folklore, Tengu are said to possess the power of flight, allowing them to soar through the skies with ease. They are also skilled in the use of magical weapons and charms, which they use to protect sacred sites and ward off malevolent spirits. Additionally, Tengu are believed to possess supernatural strength and agility, making them formidable adversaries in battle. Despite their fearsome reputation, Tengu are also capable of acts of compassion and benevolence, often aiding travelers and bestowing blessings upon those who show them respect and reverence. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a like and don't to subscribe and comment. See you in next videos.